Welcome to Hovey Life. Come learn about a rare breed of dog named a Hovavark, with roughly only 600 in the United States. Dating back to the 13th century, this old German breed is loyal, loving, <laughs> stubborn, steadfast, intelligent, independent, and makes for an excellent family pet. A Hovavark has a heart full of love. They don't work for you, but with you, and expect to become part of your loving family. This organic series will follow our Anka as we go through the ethical, education, and proper breeding process outlined by the Hovavart Club of North America. Come experience the journey through our first litter and into Hobi life. Hi there, Hobi lovers. It's Steve again. We're on purple. So Chris, I hope you're there. Hope you can tune in, Chris. I'm gonna flip around. We're giving Purple her checkup. Checking the fanginators. Yeah, I hate to have your head in that one. Purple's a sweetheart. They're all sweet, but she's real calm too. Almost kept her behind for breeding stock. Biggest one so far. She was the biggest one of the litter. Really? Yeah. And right behind her was the second blonde, Teal, and she was the smallest in the litter. Wow. She had the biggest and smallest right back, forward and back. Did Chris make it on? Judy's watching from Alaska. Hi, Judy. Flip her a wave. As long as they're under 18 for Monday and Tuesday, they fly. They can get on the airplane. <laughs> You'd be surprised. I don't know. I already park them up if you want me to. <laughs> Hear that, Chris? Heart and lungs sound excellent. Feel your belly. Good. All right, there's Chris. Hi, Chris. We're on purple right now. Abdomen's good. Didn't feel a hernia. Temperature is good. I probably said that twice. Sorry. It's exciting here, Chris. Here's the unfun part. Temperature check. I wouldn't be that calm if that's why we put that up my rear end. <laughs> oh no. Adelaide. Hi. There you go, Chris. Temperature's normal. Getting all the vitals. I kind of figured you want to be here, Chris. That's where videotaping are just for you. Now, I know you're going to be driving Chris with her, but we're still going to get a full on certificate of health from the vet. So, in case you need it at your end, you're going to, ha you're going to have that. So, they get one up a nostril. Puppy cocaine. <laughs> They're parvo, that's like the kennel cough, right? Uh, this is the dewormer. Oh, the dewormer, sorry. Okay. 
The vet said it's supposed to taste like banana, but I'm not gonna test it. <laughs> All right, Yana's here. Good baby, good baby, good job. Let her take that shot like a hovey. Oh, good baby, good baby. Good calm. Very good. I'm jumping on and off, Yana. So when I get to yellow, I'll jump back on live for you. So if you stick around and watch for live feed, I'll come back on when yellow's on the table. Yep, hello from Oregon. Independence, Oregon. Hold on, Chris. They winced on this one a little bit. It's the microchip. It's a little bit bigger needle. When they stuck hot pink, it made me cry. <laughs> You're already starting to cry now. Yeah, because it wins. Yeah, would you? <laughs> Now they scan it to make sure the microchip's working. Oh, okay. it's, it's scanned okay? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. And now we're just under some paperwork. So Chris, I'm gonna sign off now. You wanna hang around when it when it's uh, yellow's turn, I'll jump back on live Facebook. Bye-bye.